Y'all, I made $200 in one day for literally less than two hours worth of work. Okay, so here's the situation. I have all this stuff, nowhere to put it, and no use for it. So, today I'm going to see how much of it I can sell on Facebook Marketplace. So the first thing I did was get everything out that I wanted to sell, and then I laid it all out, and I found a good place to start taking all my pictures. I actually really like this stool to take pictures on because it's so white. And then I just use my makeup vanity mirror lights to light up the area to make it look a little more professional when I start to take my pictures. I also used my desk um, just because that looks good under this light too. So these were the two spots that I took most of my pictures. Once I took my pictures, I went on Facebook and started posting everything. I always post to my personal page to my friends first for a couple of reasons. A, because I want them to get their hands on it first. B, I trust them more. And C, it's easier to talk with and negotiate with friends and people that you already know and trust. So here I am showing you how I would add on to a post that I've already put up. Um, just some comments of extra things that I am trying to sell. So I post a picture, a description, a price, and then if there are multiple pictures to go with that one item, I will reply to that individual comment versus just replying back to the post over and over again. So if someone's interested in a certain item and they see it on that initial first picture, they can click see more in the comments and they'll see all the other pictures I've tagged versus everybody seeing every picture in the comments. So that just sorts it out, makes it a little more neat, look a little bit more professional. And as you can see here, people are already following the post. Granted, this is my best friend, but still um, her commenting and saying that means that she's looking at that stuff and other people will then see it and therefore it is getting shared more, which is really good. I then head over to the actual marketplace on Facebook and post all of my items on there as well. That way they are for sale in multiple different places and it reaches different audiences, which I find very helpful because my audience may like something very different than people on Marketplace are looking for and it just helps me get more of my items sold. I would also suggest getting involved in some Facebook groups that are local marketplaces as well. Um, I know that around my area there are about three or four. I am a part of all of them and I do post on there if my stuff doesn't get sold elsewhere. That way those groups see it as well. Um, that's just another way to, again, get your stuff out there and get it sold. Okay, so next we're learning how to make those initial posts for your Instagram, Facebook, stories, things like that, Snapchat. And I use the app over, I love this app, I use it for so many different things. Um, and you can find the right size right here. It takes you to story and you can just 
find the color you want or download a free template and go through and change things. I honestly like using a template just because it's a little easier. I do end up changing things most of the time, if not on this app, but then when I also get into Instagram or wherever the platform is that I'm using, I will go in and add some extra things to make it a little more personalized and me. But here I am just choosing a layout that I think will work to post for a story to post about all the stuff I have for sale. So again, advertising, getting the word out there that your stuff is for sale, that's the number one way you're going to bring traction to your post is by posting about it. And I know that sounds so lame and so repetitive, but it's very true. It's the way you're going to get people to come. It's just like when you have a yard sale, people put signs out for miles in advance telling you where to turn or where to go and all that kind of stuff. So do you think that social media is the same way you've got to gain that traction somehow so you've got to post about it so here I just went on Instagram and like I said I'm just adding a little more personalization I liked the cute little dots I thought that added a little more pizzazz and these swipes just give it a little more color again nothing too fancy just to make it look a little more put together and there you go it's on my story website in my Instagram bio that way when people do click on that post and see it and it gains traction they have the right link instead of clicking on my Instagram and ending up on my YouTube which is great for my YouTube but not to sell any of my items so here I am showing you again how I took these pictures and used over to make a little advertisement Not long after my post had gone up, I already had people commenting and wanting to claim stuff and paying for things. And I honestly made $205 in one day. I sold a purse, a wallet, a necklace, another purse, another wallet, some hats. So all in all, it was a really good day. And I honestly think it had to do a lot with how much I posted about it and how much I advertised. It's super easy and it's a really good way to get rid of some of your stuff and make a couple dollars doing it. Subscribe down below. Hit the <laughs> notification bell.